All right, guys. Hello and welcome back to our journey to level 99 with Kilka Beasts. We are jumping into League for Mega Elixir and Return Sphere round eight. We got the Luka Goers going against the Albed Sykes, Kilka Beasts taking us on, and the Guado Glories taking on the Ronso Fangs. So it should be a good time. Uh, this is uh, <laughs> this is actually going to be. Uh, a pretty standard game. I think we can't do tech copies because they're too high of a level. But in addition, last video I mentioned Fafnir Fang. They had a challenge where they wanted me to do three different things that, um, like, like uh, achievements, sort to speak. You know, like it was like customized achievements that they said, like, can you do this in the game and like do it successfully. Um, the three they wanted me to do was shoot with Nizrud and make a goal. But the opposing goalie does not have high risk. Uh, have Larbite shoot from my goal and make a goal. And then have Iskin encounter every single opposing player. Survive the encounter, of course, and then score. So those are the those are the challenges uh, right now. I cannot do those against this team. There's, there's no way. This is the original Orox at level 99. I know I was talking trash. I know I was talking smack, whatever you want to say, but I, <laughs> they're not a good team, but they're good enough not to get scored on by Larbite from my side of the goal. So that's going to be a, it's going to be a no go so far. And uh, well, <laughs> that's why we're kind of leaning more towards a uh, more traditional game. But yeah, we're going to have Iskin push here. Uh, just gonna go for this shot. The question now also with Iskin is, should I get, t I feel like I should get Tackle Slip 2 before I, like, try that challenge. You know, before I try to do the whole, like, whole person encounter. Is that, that's kind of cheating though, right? But there's no way his 99 endurance can, like, well, no, it might be able to withstand a lot. It's, it's gonna be really, really tough. But, uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do. One of the one of the challenges uh, with the challenges uh, is that um, as we level up, the players get better, of course, uh, that we face, and we might not be equipped to actually do that. So we'll see how it shakes out. Starting out though, we got Waka here. Uh, well, I guess middle of the middle of the half, Waka here pushing midfield. This isn't a good idea. And he gets knocked out for it. There really wasn't a good opportunity that that was going to be successful. Uh, the issue was he just encountered everyone. Like, it was everyone in the town. He was like, everyone gather around and try to steal the ball. And, it, and obviously they're going to do it because, you know, they're all there. It was, it was just kind of poor positioning on Waka's behalf. And that's going to open us up to pass to uh, Iskin here. And then we're going to go for the shot, of course. So 46 shoot against 39 catch. See, now it's the debate. Now I'm thinking, like, can Larbite make it from... He was he was trying against Duran, who has 30 catch, and that was a struggle. So it feels like it feels like I'm going to have to wait for a worse goalie. But correct, and correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think... There's some teams in the league that have a better goalie than, than Keeper right now, even though he's 99. Like, he still doesn't match up. Oh, that's brutal. But it's just, I don't know. It's it's rough being Keepa. It's rough being Bata. I mean, Keepa Bata for sure have to be the uh, the worst players on the team, right? I mean, they're like just decidingly so. They are they are just terrible. Oh yeah, there it is. No more no more Dotto just getting deleted over there. So we're gonna push up here, and mostly we're just trying to open up his skin, uh, get him a shot. And then, you know, go from there. Um, did not mean to pass the larvae right there. This is actually really critical because um, this could hurt my chances. Well, let's let's pretend like I meant to do it. And then I did it so that I could open up his skin. That's the one I'm going to pretend I did it for. Even though this now wastes time. I think I should still have enough time. I promise you guys that was all planned, calculated. I meant for all that to happen. None of that was a mistake. <laughs> not, not at all. Yeah, going up three to zero. I mean, it is rough being the Orox. Like, come on, man. Like, what are you gonna do? 
they gotta do something because this is this is an absolute you know destruction yeah a little bit of experience for them a little bit for us a little bit more for us uh, and then experience doesn't really matter to them quite as much and it seems interestingly enough that um they're uh they're they're like their experience hasn't increased because their levels can't increase so they're stuck at that like 3,000 so the only reason it's interesting is because that kind of shows you how the um I don't know I guess that shows you kind of how the how the auto leveling works like it gives you a little bit of insight it's not that like the game figures that like oh you need like you know this much experience because you're this much experience behind and like now you're this level and it, it equals what the game does is it looks like it just throws like players to whatever level like when they need to and then it just knows what experience that level needs so that's kind of interesting I don't know it, it's it's almost like just like a peek behind the curtain Which then begs the question, if we actually put a player to, like, level 1 right now that we face, like, what will... I don't know, it'll be interesting what'll happen. Like, if the game will auto-level them or not. It should. It should auto-level them. It should re recognize, like, oh yeah, they should probably be, like, you know, level whatever, but... Um, it's, it's really tough to say. Yeah, we've pretty much knocked out their entire front line. So what this does is this opens up Nizarud and Kolkin to pass and gives the opportunity for Nizarud and Kolkin to get experience. Kolkin probably doesn't need it as much. Arguably, Niz Nizarud doesn't need it as much anymore because he's already, like, a pretty high level. But, you know, there's, you know, we, we're already three points ahead. Like, do we really need to just spend the next half just crushing them more? Come on, let's, let's have a little bit of mercy. A little bit of... You know, a little, little bit of kindness. We're, we won't we won't completely destroy them. Only mostly. That's the uh, that's the way we're living our life here. Looks like we're going to run out of HP pretty soon. It is going to be interesting when we actually don't run out of HP here. Because, it, theoretically, it should be possible. Like, once we hit, like, near max HP, we shouldn't have players, like, running out of HP with the uh, nap passes. I mean, that being said, there it, it does require a lot of HP. I mean, it's 510 per pass. So, I mean, that's not a, uh, it's not a low amount by any means. But, you know, it would be nice to... Uh, Continue using it because, of course, I mean the the thing to really remember is that with the uh, with the techniques, using the technique when you pass gets you more experience. So that's really the main benefit here. I really, really do need to like do like some more research, I guess, so to speak. I should really figure out like how much experience each technique gives you. Um, just because, like, it feels like that would actually be pretty easy to figure out. Um, but it would be time intensive, you know? Like, that's really the big thing. It's funny because it's almost a shame that, uh, that exhibitions don't give you experience. Because what you could do is you could like jump into an exhibition match, take an action, and then immediately resign and see how much experience it gives you. But like the way it sits now is I would have to um I'd have to pass to the backline player and then just like wait wait it out and, and see what happens. I mean theoretically everything should give you the same experience. And but I'm like and I know people are saying like, oh well tackles give you this, like things give you that. Like, my question is, like, even more in-depth. Like, what does each technique give you for experience? Like, that would take a long time to figure out. But I think it's worth doing. 
yeah, a little bit of experience for them, a little bit for us. Cool can levels up, level 78, with more endurance, pass, HP. That's good stuff. Gonna see Duram's contract expire with the Luka Goers. Uh, she's gonna stay, though, for 20 games. So they're keeping their original backline player. Got the Luka Goers winning 4-1. We win 3-0, and the Fangs, after being taken out, they continue back their winning streak with a decisive 6-2. Not too bad. All right, well, we definitely surpassed Waka. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And when you come back, we're going to be playing more Blitzball. Till next time.